Hey, welcome back to another episode of A Walk Through Acts with Pastor Kyle. We are so glad that you're on this journey with us. Um, I'm loving getting together with you uh, every morning and just seeing uh, God have an impact on your life through his word. I hope you're reading the whole chapter, not just listening to me. Um, but today we're going to look at part two of chapter nine. Like I told you yesterday, uh, two main characters, Ananias and Saul. We saw yesterday that Ananias uh, questioned God when, when God asked him to, to go see Saul, yet he was obedient and he went and was able to to communicate with Saul and help Saul in his his walk with Christ. And so today we're going to look at Saul. Um, our highlight verse is going to be uh, chapter 9, verse 5, short verse. It says this, Saul asks, who are you, Lord? And Christ replies, I am the one you are persecuting. And so what's happening is Saul's persecutor. He has these letters from the church, uh, from, from not from the church, I'm sorry, he has letters from the religious leaders in Jerusalem to go to Damascus and ar arrest people that are following Christ, people that are claiming Christ as Messiah. And so he's going there to persecute the church. He's going to arrest them. There's going to be trials. We've already seen Stephen Stone. So this is a very serious situation. And, and Saul is a zealot. He is excited about this. And as he's on the road to Damascus, he has an encounter with the risen Jesus. Now, this isn't a vision. All right. He doesn't have a vision of a ghost. He sees the physical risen Jesus stand before him and announce to him that he is the Messiah. And so what Paul realizes is he's not pursuing heretics against Judaism. He's actually persecuting the Son of God. He is persecuting the Messiah. He becomes blinded by this. His helpers take him to a place in Damascus. God calls Ananias to go and, and be by his side. And when the blindness is taken away from him, Saul knows that what he's been doing is wrong and that he now has a whole new call in life to follow this Christ that he met on the road. It was one experience with the risen Christ that changes Saul's life forever. And he, he attributes his whole life change to this. He, in, in several of his letters, he's going to mark this moment on the Damascus Road as a moment that changed his life forever. And so that's what's happening in this chapter. And we see Saul move from the great uh, persecutor to the great proclaimer. He's going to proclaim Christ um, throughout the known world. And he's going to travel. He's going to be a missionary. And as we go through Acts, we're going to continue to see his story. He kind of becomes the main character after the Holy Spirit and after Jesus. And so we're going to continue to talk about him a lot, but this is the pivotal moment. And so my question for you, my application today is how has your life been changed? Have you had an experience with the risen Christ. You know, we are all broken sinners and Christ came to earth as God's son. He lived without sin. He dies for our sins and he was raised from the dead. And today he rules at the right hand of the father. He is a living God. The same living God that Saul has an experience with on the Damascus road is the same living God that, that wants to have an experience with you in your life. If you've had that experience, we want to know about it. Put in the comments, this is when I had my experience with the risen Christ. If you haven't, I want to challenge you to think about your life and think about the, the, the emptiness in your heart and how Christ is there to fill it. So if you've had an experience with the risen Christ, man, let me know in the comments. All right, that's the application today. What is your experience with the risen Christ? If you haven't had one, hey, let me know that. You can DM me, put something in the comments. I'll contact you. We can talk this out more because we really want you to know who Jesus is and to begin living a life that walks with him. You're going to see what happens to Saul, this, this zealot that's chasing down and persecuting Christians to the one who becomes uh, the proclaimer of, of all that Christ has done. And you can have that same change in your life. Let's respond to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, um, God, we thank you that you sent your son to us. Um, we thank you that you gave us Jesus. Lord, I want to pray for those that don't know you. If they're listening right now, God, that, that they will admit that they're they're broken sinners, just like all of us, and that they will ask you to be their Lord, your God. We thank you that you you have this, you've given us this opportunity. Your grace and your mercy allows us to come to you. And so, Lord, let us be faithful to you. If you're uh, if you're calling us to yourself right now, Lord, let us respond in faith to that. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. If you, if you know Jesus, hey, God bless you. 
um, walk with him, be obedient to him. If you don't know Jesus, then we want to talk to you about that. We are so glad that you have continued to be on this uh, this journey with us. We're going to jump into chapter 10 tomorrow. And uh, again, let me hear your story. Let me hear about your your moment with the risen Christ in the comments. And uh, we want to celebrate that uh, as a family all over the world. Uh, bless you. Have a great day. And we'll see you back here at 10 a.m. as we continue through uh, our walk through Acts.